Welcome to my channel. If you like my videos, then kindly subscribe, like, and watch. Thank you. Problem 10.11. So, statement of problem is a column of effective length L can be made by gluing together identical planks in either of the arrangement shown. So, you can see this is plank having height D and width is D by 3. And this beam cross section is made up of three identical plank. This is plank 1, 2, and 3. They are made glued together having an effective length L. Similarly, this arrangement in this arrangement B, this is also made up of three planks, same plank 1, 2, 3. Its height is D and its width is D by 3. So determine the ratio of critical loads using the arrangement A to the critical load using the arrangement B. So what we have to find is P critical of A to the critical loading using arrangement B. Critical arrangement B. So you have to find this ratio. So let's start with the solution. As we know that P critical is equal to pi square E i over L square. Again, we have L is the effective length E is modulus of elasticity. Since same planks have been used in both the arrangement, so E will be same. Only I will be changed. So we will first find the I for this plank A. So if you look at this uh, first arrangement, so let this is the center that is at a distance of d by 2. There. And if I draw a vertical axis, so it will be also at a distance of d by 2. Because d by 3 plus d by 3 plus d by 3 overall it will be d. From this point, this point, this is again d. So it will be d. So if this is x axis and this is y axis. So if you take the moment of inertia about x axis or y axis both will be same. So I will take the moment of inertia of plank uh, or of cross section of a about y axis and that will be equal to 1 over 12 since this dimension and this dimension is same so it will be equal to d power 4 clear and you can put it in this equation above equation so you will get the p critical for this part a and that will be equal to pi square e and t power 4 divided by 12 l e. Here the effective length is used so we will use l e over here. So this is the p critical for this a or part a. Now we will move toward finding the moment of inertia of part b and you can see this is its x axis and this is its y axis. Again, the minimum moment of inertia of such type of uh, arrangement we will see, or you can also have a knowledge that the moment of inertia, uh, its moment of inertia about x axis will also some value and y about y axis it will be also having uh, value but we will choose the minimum one and the minimum will be about y axis because we have al already taken the moment of inertia of this part a about y axis so we will also take the moment of inertia of this arrangement about y axis and this uh, moment of inertia about y axis will be minimum I will also write now you can see if you want to take the moment of inertia of this arrangement about y axis so let this is your first 
this is your second and this is your third plank so you can see you are going to take movement of inertia about this y axis so this will be your total height that is d and this will be your width which will be equal to d by 3 d by 3 d by 3 so you can see the moment of inertia of first part will be equal to 1 over 12 b i will write it 1 over 12 b is d by 3 here the breadth is d by 3 and height is d so b h cube and this is d cube similarly for the 1 and 3 both will be same so it will be again 1 over 12 d by 3 into d cube now for the second part you can see this is now height which is again d by 3 and this is its width which is d so 1 over 12 b is now d breadth is for two portion for second plan this breadth is d so d and height is d by 3 whole cube so when you calculate this i b about y axis so it will be equal to 19 by 324 d4 now p critical for this b part b portion or b column is pi square e and instant of i it will be 19 into d4 over 324 l square or we can rearrange 19 pi square e d power 4 over 324 l square now this is the value of part b so we have to find p critical of a ratio p critical of b so you have values that is pi square e d power 4 over 12 l e this is with this will be also effective length divide by 19 pi square e d power 4 divide by 324 le square so when you simplify it so it will be only 27 point 27 by 19 and which is equal to 1.421 so the ratio of p critical of a to p critical of b for effective length l is 1.42 I hope you have now clear idea about such type of problems thank you for watching and keep supporting me as well